Hey y'all, it's Hans. Welcome back. We've got another scope review today. Now this thermal optic was announced at SHOT Show 2023, here recently released, but iRay USA thankfully was nice enough to send one uh, for Jason and I to test. And we've had it for the last few weeks before the release. We've had a chance to look at it, hunt with it, test it here today to give you the full review. And before we jump into it, this is the iRay Rico RH50 Pro or iRay Rico Pro. Uh, it is manufactured by Infrared Outdoor, distributed here uh, in the United States by iRay USA. Uh, Y'all, we've talked about iRay USA and Infrared Outdoor products for a few years now since they really hit the market here in the United States. Uh, really known for good quality stuff. I, I want to say, uh, if you watch the Late Night Vision show, you know that I, when I hear the words game changer or when people say something's revolutionary, it makes my hair on the back of my neck stand up because it, those terms are used so too often. But I want to talk about something today that is going to uh, really be the future of thermal optics moving forward. There's a lot of good things that we need to discuss. But first, we've got to talk about optical zoom and digital zoom. Now, as always, with the Ricoh Pro, we're going to be showing a lot of footage through the optics. So be watching as we run through the specs to see that. We're going to show you what comes with the optic in the bag. I uh, got that thing sitting right here, ready ready to go, ready to rock and roll. Got my list ready to go. Um, I want to talk about if you are looking, two things. If you want to see a long form uh, review where Jason and I, uh, Jason being the owner of Outdoor Legacy, uh, and I also work for Outdoor Legacy. We sell thermal and night vision optics. If you want to see a long form review of this in a podcast style, you can check out the late night vision show, specifically episode 264 is the Rico Pro review uh, that Jason and I do again on the late night vision show. You can find it on all podcast uh, audio platforms and on Facebook, on Instagram, also on YouTube, where we produce all the videos or or share and upload all the videos uh, where you can actually see back and forth. So you can check it out there, The Late Night Vision Show, uh, episode 264. Also, if you're looking to purchase a brand new night vision or thermal optic, uh, give us a call, 877-350-1818, outdoorlegacygear.com. Uh, I say it, I'll say it again. I've said it before. You can stop this video right now, call and talk to me. Uh, you can call, talk to the owner of the company, Jason, uh, or also our other salesperson, Ashley, but you can definitely give us a call and talk to one of us. We test the optics, we sell the optics, uh, and we support our customers after the purchase. So 877-350-1818, back to the Rico, back to regular scheduled programming. Now that the commercials are out of the way, this is the Rico Pro. We're going to do a walk around. We're going to jump right into the specs, walk around the scope, uh, likes and dislikes, uh, yardages, everything. You know, we got a lot to talk about. Now, let's talk about optical and digital zoom. So before uh, this point, um, most night vision thermal optics all included or all had digital zoom. Now, what is digital zoom? Digital zooms means, means every time you double the magnification, you cut your resolution in half. For an example, uh, if you have a 640 resolution scope and the base magnification is two power, once you jump uh, and jump up from two power to four power, you're cutting the re resolution from 640 resolution at the base magnification to 320 resolution at four power. If you double again, you will cut your resolution again. So that's how digital magnification works. You're basically just zooming or it's magnifying the image on the screen, on the viewfinder screen. Now, optical zoom is what the daytime, which you, you know, through your normal Zeiss or, or, um, vortex daytime scope, whenever you magnify the image, it does not, I mean, pretty much the same picture image. It's just uh, a magnified image of that through the scope. Now that's what optical zoom is. Basically you are increasing magnification on a, on a digital optic, increasing magnification without cutting resolution. That's huge. This hopefully is the future of thermal and night vision optics. Now, there was one other optic on the market previously to this or previous to this that had that feature. And it was also uh, produced by Infrared Outdoor and distributed here by IRA USA. That was a monocular. You have the, uh, the Infrared Outdoor Zoom ZH38 and Z, uh, Zoom ZH50 monoculars. This is the first 
thermal scope on the market with optical zoom. What I mean by that, it starts at, it has two, it, it actually has optical zoom and digital zoom. So on the optical zoom side, it's got a 1.5 power base, 640 resolution, and a three power at 640 resolution. Now, with those two different, let's say, plateaus or stages, there's also four times digital zoom. So you can have 1.5 base, and with digital zoom, you can go up to uh, three power and six power. With optical zoom, you can go up to three power, keeping resolution, and then you'll have another four times digital zoom from there. So you'll have three power, six power, 12 power. Now, I know that means you may be confused by that, but again, you have 1.5 power base magnification and three power base magnification at 640 resolution. And then you have four times digital zoom, which does cut the resolution uh, at each one of those levels. So this is the future, I hope, of thermal optics. I hope we see this more coming. Uh, this is going to give you a further ID range. Obviously, uh, you know, we can talk about the benefits of having a 1.5 and 3 power uh, 640 resolution scope, and we'll talk about that at the end. But let's talk about the specs right now, jump into that and show you some video. So give you some exa examples of what this stuff's going to look like. The price on this, you say, well, what does a scope like this that's the future of the industry, how much does something like this cost? Well, uh, you can get this for $6,499, so right at $6,500. Uh, the resolution, it's a 640 by 512 resolution thermal core, 12 micron, 50 hertz refresh rate. Uh, we talked about before, it's got optical zoom 1.5x and 3x with digital zoom at each level of four times stepped up. Uh, it's got an AMOLED display, 1024 by uh, 768 resolution on the display. Uh, it's got seven reticles, five color palettes, picture in picture display. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi to the Infrared Outdoor app. Uh, video and audio recording. Now, the field of view uh, at 1.5 power, it's got a 92 feet at 100 yard field of view. At 3 power, it's got a 46 feet uh, at 100 yard field of view. So at 1.5, 92 feet wide field of view, that's huge. That is very, very wide. Um, it's got a, it says it's got a 2,400 uh, yard detection range. I would say more importantly, the ID range, you being able to tell the difference between a small animal, like a coyote and a small deer, it's going to be about five to 600 yards, probably a little bit further than that on larger animals, but still that's a long, long ID range, uh, on an animal. Um, it's IP67 uh, weather rating, which means it's submersible, uh, up to three foot of water for 30 minutes. The uh, temperature rating is minus four degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. It's recoil rated for 300 wind mag uh, and seven mag, uh, rechargeable battery pack. And after our testing on the battery pack, you're gonna, you could expect to get anywhere from seven to eight hours of runtime on a full charge battery. Uh, it does weigh uh, 35 ounces fully loaded. That's with the, the mount that we have on it. And I'll show you that here in a minute and the battery pack. Um, it is compatible with the uh, removable and detachable uh, laser range finder. That's the LR1000 laser range finder that's uh, sold uh, by Outdoor Legacy throughout uh, IRA USA. But that's a basically a plug and play laser range finder that you can mount on the side of the scope. And as always, the IRA USA famous five year warranty with a five business day repair or replace guarantee. Now, that's a lot of specs. Uh, and again, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, you can leave a comment or more importantly, if you're trying to buy an optic, give us a call, but let's talk about what comes with the optic. Now, uh, other than the, the, the hard box that it comes in, it does have this soft shell case. Now what IRA USA is brand new sending out with this scope, uh, which they haven't done with any of their other scopes so far. is they are sending out a two throw lever. QD mount. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is a two throw lever. It's just a, a basically an OEM uh, QD mount, uh, you know, per, uh, manufactured by IRA uh, or actually in, uh, manufactured by Infrared Outdoor, but it's got two throw levers. It is a locking mount, uh, but it's just your standard QD mount. Uh, on the scope that I tested with, as always, y'all, we use the American Defense Manufacturing. This is a one throw lever. 
QD mount. Now, just because this one has two throw levers does not mean that it's better because it, this one has one throw lever. The American Defense Manufacturing mounts are the best on the market. So that's, that's the one that we prefer. We also uh, obviously do have those for sale as well, and that's what we run on all the optics. Uh, along with the soft, the soft shell case, not much else you need. It does come with a charging base. Uh, it comes with a, a wall plug, the USB-C cord that you need, uh, some thermal targets uh, for for your um, for sighting it in. You want you know tape that onto a, a cardboard box or something like that. You got that in there, so that's great. Uh, but really, y'all, that's all all you need. The exciting part is it does come with that QD mount, but uh, these are I want to say American Defense Manufacturing. These are the industry standard for quick release mounts. Now, here's a walk around of the optic 50 millimeter objective lens, four button layout on top, perfectly spaced, perfectly raised. If you're wearing gloves at night in the dark, uh, you know, in the winter time and you got gloves on or thick gloves on, you will be able to operate these buttons. Uh, that's very important. A lot of people ask about that. So it's a dual focus. Uh, I mean, it's got a, a, a bunch of different focuses on this thing. So you got your IP diopter focus right here on the front. You've got your uh, your lens or objective lens focus right here on top. It's just a dial that turns. But to change it from uh, optical zoom uh, from 1.5 up to 3 power, you're basically, let's see if I can demonstrate this on camera, you're basically just turning this on top. It's just dial on top that turns back and forth uh, right there. If it's off center, you're at 3 power. If that knob is perfectly centered, you're at 1.5 one and one and power. So that is pretty cool. That's how you change it from uh, opti. I say you can change the optical zoom from 1.5 to 3 power. You got your battery pack on the side here, along with your USB-C plug on the side. Again, got the one third lever ADM mount on it. Rubber eye cup that is removable. If you want to take that off there, leave it on there. Take it off. It's personal preference. It's not going to make you shoot any better whether you have it on there or not. It's just whether how prefer or how you prefer to to have your um, your eye relief set up. So. That is the optic. We've done the rundown. We've talked about the specs. We've shown you what came in the box. Talked about the uh, OEM uh, QD mount. Let's talk about likes and dislikes. There's a ton of likes to talk about. I want to get through them all. There are uh, just a couple negatives. I would say let's start with the negatives first. I would say that the first thing is you can see um, this is not what I would consider a small scope. <laughs> now there are a lot of optics on. Uh, uh, on the market right now that are very compact, very small. Uh, there are also some that are large. You know, you, the, the tube style scopes that you see on the market that are very popular, uh, those are not considered compact scopes. This is somewhere in the middle of that. I wouldn't say it's as big as a tube style scope as far as long, length. Um, maybe a little bit lighter than a tube style scope, uh, but definitely not as compact uh, as you would see um, out there on the market. But Again, I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's too heavy. I wouldn't say it's too big. Um, the other thing I would say is we always talk about pri uh, proprietary batteries. You know these batteries are made by Infrared Outdoor. They can only be purchased through a dealer. It would be nice uh, if moving forward, if we saw more optics with with batteries that you could easily find at the store, like eighteen six fifty batteries. That would be fantastic. We are we do uh, um, understand that proprietary batteries. Uh, have been a standard in the industry for a long time. They probably will be moving forward, but it is nice when you have a, a, a battery system uh, of a rechargeable nature that you can find the batteries at a store or order them online easy. Um, these are proprietary batteries. Uh, you know, to get an extra battery, it's going to be about 160 bucks. Uh, so you get eight hours of runtime on that battery. You can buy another spare backup battery if you want to have an extra eight hours of runtime. So the batteries, the size of it. Um, also, what I will say, the audio in this model is greatly improved from the past infrared outdoor models. I will say that, but it's still not great. I mean, it's not the greatest audio from a thermal scope that you will find on the market. Uh, you know, take that for what it is. You can still see the shot or hear the shot. Uh, you can hear um, talking. It's not. It sounds a little muffled sometimes. You can still hear a caller uh, from an electronic caller if you're calling coyotes or pigs. Um, better audio, but not great. I'll, I'll just say that.
the likes. You got to start out with optical zoom. 1.5 to 3 power, 640 resolution. You're not cutting resolution when you uh, jump up from 1.5 to 3 power. Again, we hope it's the future. I hope two years from now, I'm talking about a, a you know a scope or talking about scopes, and every single one of them come with optical zoom options. So, I hope that this is the beginning of great things to come for uh, the engineering, the special engineering that is put into this optic right here. Um, the focus adjustment is really quick and easy to get from 1.5 to 3 power. I mean, just turning it back and forth just like that. Um, a, a lot easier, I would say, than the zoom monoculars. The zoom monoculars, it felt like I was cranking on that thing uh, a lot just to get it to change. Uh, from the base magnification up to the, the next step up optical zoom. This one, very quick and easy. You're just turning that dial to the, to the left about a quarter turn. Very good. Picture image, uh, I know you've seen the video. Picture image is great. 640 resolution quality. Uh, definitely, definitely a, a positive for this. Um, it's This is, I hate to say this scope does everything, but whether you are a coyote hunter a pig hunter, uh, you know, shooting 50 yard shots, coyote hunters shooting two to 300 yard shots. This scope can really do almost everything you want it to do. There's a lot of people out there that say, you know, I'm a full-time coyote hunter, but I do pig hunt from time to time. When I go down to Texas, I'd like to have something that I can do both with, uh, or vice versa. I mostly a pig hunter uh, and I mostly shoot shots at 50 yards, but I want to go somewhere and be able to shoot coyotes at 300. I mean, this, this scope will really do a lot of different things in a lot of different applications. Uh, that's what makes this and optical zoom uh, or optical magnification so great. Um, I would say that the, the black hot on this model uh, seems to look better than some of the previous uh, Rico, IRA Rico models. That may just be the conditions I had it in. Um, it just seemed in the past, the, some of the, uh, I Ray Rico MK ones, the black hot didn't look great, but it seemed to look a lot better, uh, on the Rico pro model. I don't know why I don't have any explanation on that. Don't even have any scientific proof other than what my eyeball told my brain. <laughs> That's it y'all uh, on that. And then of course the five year warranty, the five year famous, uh, infrared outdoor, or I would just say IRA USA five-year warranty with a five business day repair or replace guarantee. Now, if you saw something that you, you today in this review that you, you liked or didn't like, and you have questions about it, and you're trying to decide what optic you need, the best thing y'all is to call and talk to us, uh, or talk to somebody. Don't, it's difficult to try to get your answers on Facebook. It's difficult to go to a forum and get your a correct a correct answer. Y'all, I've got on the forums. I see people asking questions, basic questions that need, you know, for people that need help deciding on an optic, and they will get in a forum and ask a question. And some of the answers that I hear are, and that I see are uh, it, it's completely wrong information from what uh, the person asked. The best thing to do is is call people that use a lot of optics, not just a certain brand or a few different scopes. Call a good reputable dealer uh, and people that hunt with their optics and test them and create content with them. That way, you know you're talking to somebody with firsthand information and knowledge about what you're looking for compared to another optic. Uh, you know, you can call us and we can talk about this optic and how it compares to a FLIR PTS you know, uh, 536 that was put out four or five years ago. We've been around that long. We've tested them all. Uh, give us a call 877-350-1818 outdoorlegacygear.com. You can call and talk to me personally. If you're looking to buy an optic, would love to hear from you again. If you haven't seen it, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, go check out the late night vision show podcast. It's a show that Jason, uh, and I do every Thursday, every Thursday morning, a new episode is released. Uh, we are on 265 shows that we've done 265 consecutive weeks. It's been awesome. Uh, but, uh, go check out that show if you haven't seen it anyway, outdoorlegacygear.com. We test the optics, we sell the optics and we support the customers after the purchase. We'd love to have your business. Okay. So we've got a very important review coming up next. Very, a few days after this one, a new launch of a new optic. Uh, again, that was announced at SHOT Show, but it's 
we're getting into higher resolution. I'll just say this. It's beyond 640 resolution, and you need to check it out. That's on the next video right here on the Hans ETX YouTube channel. Y'all stay safe in the fields. Y'all keep tuning in. All hog, hog hunting, night hunting, coyote hunting, whatever you can do at night legally with a thermal or night vision optic, you'll see right here on this channel. See y'all next week. Y'all take care. Keep making them bacon pancakes.